Hey everyone, on today's IGL podcast, we're talking about VR and the future of cinema. Cue the noises. Enough. Oh. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another edition of the IGL podcast. I am your host, Justin Gentile. I'm AJ. I'm Kyle. We're coming at you live from the Hollywood Redux Studios, only in lovely Burbank, California. Oh man, it's nice up here. I kind of mix those together, only in Burbank. Only. Like, it's sometimes only in Burbank. We move. <laughs> the only things that are in Burbank are Jay Leno's enormous car garage and us. They had to keep it somewhere. That's the right. WB lot yeah, is like 90%. Have a nice show, um. <laughs> Jay Leno's you have a nice, um, it's Does anyone very... know who that is anymore? Jay Leno? Oh. I don't know if any, they Leno know Jay Leno was that. a TV host, uh, kids, if, back in the 90s. <laughs> And he, it's actually, if you go to Universal Studios, very disappointing now. It's, it's just his terrible. cars. It's uh, just him. When you go to see the Jaws ride and Jaws used to pop up, now it's just this car that uses, like, candles for headlights. His it's chin terrible. comes out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> so, it actually makes a bigger splash than it did before now. That's right. It, yeah. it is nastier. Speaking looks. of making a big splash, yeah. you know we're big on the segways here. Oh, yeah. uh, what's making a big splash like, this month? Hashtag HRVR. Hashtag HRVR. Hashtag HRVR. Which, Hollywood Redux VR, we're in it. Hopefully you've been seeing some of our gameplay videos. Last week we had an exclusive world premiere of Ace of Spades music experience. It's such a good whoa, 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 name, what? by the way. It's such a good name. Ace well, yeah. of Spades, I mean, that's so good. When you're blessed with a name like that, you have to live up to it, I yeah, think, which is totally. so awesome. Otherwise, Lemmy will come down from heaven and just pour Jack Daniels down your throat until you die. That doesn't sound awful. That's, um, that's actually what happened. Uh, <laughs> that's what happened. He's the only one who ever survived, and that's why he got the name. The experience blew mine. It was so cool, and, man. And then, yeah, this week, we're also going to premiere our uh, playthrough of the Star Wars experience. I, I'm excited. Trials I'm on really Tatooine. For that. So uh, I think today I kind of wanted to talk with you guys about, like, now that we've seen both of these, I mean, we want to kind of maybe explain a little bit to, to the people what's happening, but, like, the possibilities in my mind are racing. Of, uh, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to wet blanket it, because I do love the VR aspect. I do love, like, the the gaming of it. I, I that's, that's really cool. Like, w watching Asa's, because I didn't, I didn't get to do that, but I got to watch everyone, like, do it i had a good time i do wonder that whether or not it's going to make us closer mm. you know what i mean like there there's something that's nice about the communal aspect of going to a movie of going to a concert things like that mm. and i don't want to i don't want to have that completely lessened by only just well you can stay in your house and just do that you know what you I mean? have also, some what options. the hell's so good about your house like i live i live <laughs> here in L.A., and my house is a pile of garbage. Yeah, my house I is live not, in literal garbage. We do not live in the Hollywood Redux studio. Our house no, is not this, this nice, is but you lovely. want to escape that. That's I live, I live, like, yeah. it's, I live in a rat hole. <laughs> what well, were you going to say? Maybe you could, like, or they could one day develop technology so you could have, like, a virtual apartment. So no matter where you live, <laughs> no matter how shitty it is, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, you know well, what? I don't feel like looking at this cool. dump today, and you can put it on. That's kind of... And you're, like, living in a mansion, and you're like, all right. The Samsung Gear VR store starts that way when you put on the gear vr you're in like this beautiful penthouse apartment really? and then your menus pop up in front oh of you kind of like the netflix app where the netflix app puts you inside of like a nice cabin in the woods somewhere right. where you're watching right. netflix on a screen you right. know so sure, sure. so that kind of plays into it where you do have these social options so eventually netflix or, or not even netflix you know facebook talks about this mm -hmm. you want to be watching videos with your friends so maybe you're at home you're at home we all want to watch a movie together in our virtual theater or you want to watch it on the moon or wherever the right, setting of the sure. movie may be, that's kind of a communal experience that wouldn't be possible otherwise. Say you were, you know, away at college, or you're going to, you know, going on vacation somewhere. I don't know why you'd be. <laughs> I mean, in I don't know why. I already live. I already live in paradise. In a vacation. <laughs> Here but, I am. Burbank but you know, paradise. I have friends. You know, <laughs> my best friend lives in New Mexico. Hey Vince, you know. Hey Vince. Uh, but it would be cool. Hashtag hey Vince. We could watch the same movie at the same time. You know, it's hard these days. Everything comes out differently. Netflix. You know, we're not all watching on the same schedule. Right. That can maybe kind of make a more communal aspect too. That would then that then that excites me mm -hmm. when you when you talk about that now I'm I want that I want that thing I don't want to live in more of a bubble like, I already feel like I do that there's a already lot now. VR experiences too where you have V time V time is a chat room like okay. experience where we're sitting on like this exact podcast but we're on top of a mountain 
and we could look over the mountain and do whatever, but we could be talking to each other. I've done that, and, you know, talk to people in the army or, you know, talk to people who live in Canada. Totally crazy, right? What? I know. I didn't even know they spoke the Canada? same language. Hello. Oh, my gosh. But um, there's also <laughs> Alt Space VR, which does performances. So Reggie Watts has had a musical performance okay. there. They do stand-up comedy performances, which that's pretty that's cool, pretty too. Great. Say you want to do an open mic night. Right. Open mic night with anyone can just pop on their VR headset and be a performer. And that's, oh, that's, 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 that's kind of cool. Aspect. I'm on board with that. I'm okay. on board with that. Like that. What, what would you want to see from VR otherwise? Like, do you have any experiences oh, that would be like a cool, you know? Yes. Oh, man. I'm such a Harry Potter nerd. Oh. If they could make like a seven, you know, a, a, like, oh, God, like episodic. Like do all of the books? Like do yeah, all do the all books? the books individually and you could be Harry. And oh, you could, well, like, I don't know if I could spend that long in a headset. Like all the Jeez. magic. Magic <laughs> yeah, would look so cool. Headset. Three uh, years in a VR headset. It would be like a lifetime kind of thing. <laughs> Three years. Oh, my God. I could do it. I the do first, it. like, you have, like, Money. the first, like, you know, 11 years of your life. Or, like, which you know, is, 11 years of playing oh, Harry Potter. So we have the Trials on <laughs> Tatooine is going to be premiering this week, which is a playthrough where you could be a Jedi for a second. You know, you help him fix the Millennium Falcon, and you got to block some stormtroopers or come. And, uh, you know, the other week we also talked about, um, I think it was Mage of the Wizard, Rise of the Wizard, which is one of those VR experiences that you can make potions and things like that. Harry Potter is going to be a natural extension. Sure, of course. Into yes. that, that, like... Uh, I, I mean, that that I'm waiting for it. And it, it did you have anything that well, you yeah, are waiting a, to see in VR? The thing that the thing that I think will make me the most excited is, and I'm not a sports gamer at all. I mean, I think the last like sports game I played and was really excited about. Can we talk Mario Tennis as a sports game? <laughs> we say that is it a sports game? I or is mean, it a either that or it was Blades of Steel by Konami. Like mm -hmm. that was that's a sports game. Let's go Mario Tennis. Let's go Mario <laughs> yeah. Tennis. Sure. So. <laughs> I think I think that the, that now you now you're gonna be able to convince me to buy a Madden game hmm. now because now I can be the quarterback okay now I can be the quarterback Just by like throwing I can, the ball by throwing the, the ball I actually like being able to look down the line and look at all the players and see like where everyone's routes are gonna run like that's cool or or maybe doing like you could zap into other uh, other positions in the game too right. you're, like, you're the quarterback now, where you're looking at the line you're gonna be able to convince him. me or like do it like a, like a track and field game like. You know what would be really cool? What's that? What? If they had, like, like one day, like, they'd be able to um, put shoulder cameras on Olympians. Yeah. Well, the Olympics just happened. Oh, right. my that's gosh. Sure, sure, so sure. Over. That spectating aspect is one of the next big things. So, so the MLB's already looking at that, okay. where the MLB's okay. saying, see, you can get well, a season great pass. Would that be? Yeah. And, and instead of spending thousands and thousands of dollars just to sit at the ball. My least favorite part about watching sports is having to go to the stadium. Oh, I love it. Pay. Oh, I well, no, I love it, but, like, I don't awesome. love oh, paying $20 love for a beer right. and having to sit through the boring and parts parking. and yep. having to pay for parking and all that right. but now uh, like wwe has a couple videos like that mlb has a couple videos where you're right. a spectator on the side of the court on the side of the field and that'll be a way to watch sports in the future now that is i think I the know, u.s open like just did whole, that like, too kind of camaraderie oh thing that's cool when you're like actually there and you're cheering on your team with and you know what everybody I, but I'd, I'd rather be having that virtual experience and sharing that than like next to my girlfriend who didn't care about the wwe okay. anyway <laughs> but then i could oh, feel I like i'm like watching with the crowd of people okay or maybe you're watching you. Or you're watching in like the stadium environment with like the chat room of friends. Okay. You know. Sure. I mean, okay. there's there's obviously a lot that that could be gleaned from this, and that's obviously why so many companies are getting on board. Like Samsung's on board, mm -hmm. and Steam is on board. Like there's all these there's all these companies that are banking on trying to make an experience that is really exciting. And we've we've pitched a, a bunch of stuff just in this room for a couple minutes right now. Like we if it was our job, job. Right. if it was actually our man, job to do that, if I that. could somehow get paid to be an you idea know. man, there's the <laughs> There's the There's Ghostbusters VR experience. <laughs> <laughs> meta Rob. idea, man. Whoa. Put that on my business cards. Meta idea, man. The meta ideas. Amazing. Um, the I'd buy your business promotional card, aspect of VR is what I was going to bring up. Just the idea that, you know, in the future, it, it is a promotion. So all these companies want to do it, but, you know, uh, I was going to say Paramount, like they're the biggest studio or something. Sure. But any studio is going to want to be a part of this that, hey, you you know, your Blu ray's coming out. Blu ray of Civil War is a great example. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want to have the. You explore the tarmac VR experience where you want to see the fight of the Avengers are having all around in VR but it could also be an exclusive aspect too it'll be a prize it'll be something to be rewarded to people because maybe there'll only be a hundred codes passed out for oh, this experience I see what you're saying. maybe there'll only and then you know you get invited to a premiere you, you get invited to the uh, Avengers Civil War premiere you walk down the red carpet that takes place in space but you and only the other virtual avatars but it becomes this like sought after exclusive experience that not and maybe it'll be available to everyone one day you know but the but right ideally when it first comes out that'll be the hype 
you know, behind it instead Look of the you, servers. You're the real idea man, Justin. <laughs> the Look meta at that idea the man. The meta idea mm. man. But that's, you I know, Fantastic that Beasts card. and Where to Find Them. You want to watch that inside Hogwarts oh, Castle. Oh, yeah. That'll be right. something that they'll be able to, I think, present in the future. Because, yeah, either you're going to have people that want to go out to the movie theater or you're going to have people that want to have that experience at home in a new way. That's what the movies are. Yeah. The movies are an experience. That's the only reason we go. Right. Well, not I mean, to get too deep and philosophical with you guys. <laughs> no, let's but do it. Get there with us. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for experiences, and I think that it will connect us in ways that maybe we don't anticipate yet. Well, I hope you're right. I do hope you're right. I hope I hope it's a thing. I hope it's a thing that serves to get us closer rather than further ostracize us. Because that's mm. the thing that I do worry about with almost all technology. Like mm-hmm. it's made your life more convenient. It's made your life better and easier. I'm like. Well, like Netflix, yeah. I was just saying, everything's great, and we can all talk about Stranger Things, but the fact that Stranger Things has every episode comes out, we consume it differently. Like, right. you're going to watch it in a day, I'm going to watch it in a week, and that kind of sets off that water cooler aspect of like, hey, did you see the episode last night? Right. Which makes a thing that used to be super social kind of more singular now, and now it's just more like about like getting a badge, bragging rights, like, yeah. oh, I watched Stranger yeah, Things, I not like we can... people do that now with you stop, stop everything stop gotta, everything sorry. is that all right <laughs> okay smack the mic we're good this is right there okay okay sorry i'm done i'm done i have i didn't see stranger things, stranger yeah. things. Yeah. Things. Yeah. yeah and we could talk about it so but good. we can only talk about it in the way that like we've consumed it and we talk about it not in the way that we're experiencing it together and talking okay. about it and i hope that there's more of that in the future my dream, my hopes, Your my dreams. wishes. Anyone else dreams? Is that, hopes, that, what, is that, is that what your dream and hope and wishes yeah, with you? VR? Is that what that, you want? That uh, world peace and wow. uh, just a machine that makes any sandwich and as many sandwiches God, like a sandwich like at ATM. any time. I bet that's coming. A soon. sandwich ATM? A 3D yeah. sandwich AJ. printer. They yeah, have guess who's the ATMs meta idea woman ATMs. now? I know, I dug Bro, she's a meta take idea car. person. <laughs> we're not a misogynistic show here. No, we're not. We're meta idea no. people <laughs> beings. <laughs> Right. We are um, stranger I was about to say, things. We're cisgendered. Uh, I don't know. No, we're, no, no, we're, we, we, we're ambiguously mean, gendered idea people. Put that on a card and send, send it, to it to us here us. at the Hollywood Redux Studio. We can't afford our own card. We can't afford that. You should see what the place I it? Right? when we're not in this room. <laughs> I I put, it's literally a bed of fucking nails. It's what you, awful. Let the people share the people. I wanted to like. <laughs> what is well, that's why we don't need business cards because our names are going to pop up right here. But whoosh, whoosh. I'm Justin Gentile. Find me on Twitter oh. at Justin underscore Gentile. Oh. Maybe down here. I'm still trying to here. figure out what it stood for. What is it? <laughs> what my my Twitter name? Ambiguously is? the. Oh, it's that? just um. Spokes this thing's people. coming right off the rails, guys. I'm getting so hung up right on that. It's coming right off the rails. It's all good. Today. Tell the people how to find you on Twitter for more of these thoughts. Oh, if you want to find me, you can find me at least. <laughs> <laughs> And who wouldn't? AJ? If you want to find me, know. Google Maps. Yeah. My address is. Melissa J89. <laughs> I know, right? That's right. Mostly uh, uh, cute animal pictures, so. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Uh, <laughs> mine is uh, full of terrible jokes. I'm Kyle Duncan Graham, and you can find me at K Duncan G. It's better than mine. I have terrible jokes, and I'm just trying to win contests. <laughs> like, right, is that all yeah, your all just your retweeting is? like just Amoeba Records and LA County hashtags. Fair, just trying to get free stuff? The only good and, hashtag yeah. is. Hashtag HRVR. Hashtag HRVR. Use it. Tweet at us. <laughs> subscribe as well. And you can see our faces every time we have a new video. It'll pop up in your phone. It's amazing. <laughs> Technology is beautiful, guys. Watch our video over there if oh, you'd like. Oh, my God. And uh, thank oh, don't. Oh yeah, I know. It's still shocking for these <laughs> oh, guys. Right. want to thank you guys for watching. Check us out next time. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>